Ladies and gentlemen, Matthews here from m and Forex Traders. I hope you're doing great. So right here, I'm here with the AUD NZD a breakdown of what happened and uh, all the lessons that we can learn from this particular trade. So stick around, watch the rest of the video. All right, so let's start from the higher time frame. As always, we go to the uh, to the four hour time frame right here. So if we zoom out on this particular trade, on the four hour time frame, you can see that the overall trend of this market has been to the downside since October 2022. Therefore, we are looking to actually continue with this particular trend to the downside right here. And then if you if you look here on the uh, four hour time frame, we had something significant that happened here. We had a nice rally base drop supplies on and you can see that the candles that broke structure to the downside were really really amazing big candles right and you always know that whenever we have such things happening we know that there's a presence of smart money in the market and it's our job to go to the lower time frame and find the order block or the lower time frame and then uh, wait for price to come to our level when once we have our confirmation we execute and that's how we actually uh, trade every time when it comes to choosing the right broker you can never compromise right so that's the reason why we trade with market markets it offers up to 200 tradable asset leverage up to one to 500 and a lot more benefits that you actually get when you trade with market markets so for that check the first link in the description and sign up with them and get trading right now right you can see that we had a qml we had a low we had a high high and we had the break of structure everything that we look for this is what we call inefficiency candles or uh, momentum candles right here so whenever we have something like this we always go to the lower time frame in order to find other blocks to trade from and we know that other blocks are literally footprints of the smart money in the market you can see that this is a rather best drop so we get the last candle right there and then we take this to the right side and wait for price to come to our level another confluence that we had on this particular trade was the market taking out having taken out the asian high right here then we waited for the market to come into our zone right here and then you can see that the market actually tapped into our zone right here and rejected moved a little bit in profit and then the market just pushed to the upside and we were taken out for a loss right so let me just show you that this trade was actually shared with our private community unfortunately this trade turned out to be a loss which is uh which is part of the game as uh you always know right so if you look at this this was an absolutely absolutely beautiful trade setup unfortunately this turned out to be a loss and uh if you look at this this is a 1 to 18 risk reward ratio our stop loss was six pips and our target was uh 130 pips right here it was uh, a beautiful looking setup right here but it didn't work out okay so you always have to understand and uh, ask yourself whenever you're taking a trade does this trade setup meet your criteria right if it does meet your criteria then you are obligated to take that trade why because on a trade by trade basis there is no way for you and i to know what's going to happen so you cannot you have no control over outcome therefore the only thing that you have control over is your process the process before taking the trade you are making sure that you're taking the a plus setups and then you are predefining your risk and everything when you've done all that then the outcome is no longer in your control because you have no control over that right so control the only thing that you can control which is the process and uh the risk management part that's the only thing that you have control over and once you do that you have to repeat that consistently and that's how you're going to remain consistently profitable otherwise if you're trying to uh, control outcome if you're trying to guess on what's what's going to happen on a trade by trade basis you are going to find yourself stressed overall why because you have no control over that you have no control over outcome you can only focus on the process the outcome will always take care of itself right so i always trying to show i always try to show you this part about trading because it's not talked about most of the times most people only show you winning trades here we try to show you both the winning trades and the losing trades so that you can know what to expect when it comes to the market i know it can be confusing because most people don't talk about these things right so it's um it's a normal part about trading it's something that you you are supposed to expect as a trader 
so it means that you're supposed to have a long-term mindset have a series of kind of mindset where you're looking at a larger sample size and like focusing on a trade by trade basis that's what's going to keep you in the game and that's what was going to keep what's going to differentiate you from the 95 percent of traders who lose money consistently in the market and that's the truth right that's the stats which are there the 95 percent of traders are constantly losing money in the market and they have the same kind of mindset and which is different from the five percent that are able to make money consistently and if you want to be like the five percent you either have to learn what the 95 percent do and do the opposite or you have to emulate what the five percent are doing and can tell you that the five percent of uh consistently profitable traders are not trading on a trade by trade basis they're not reckless with their uh with their risk right they have a process based approach they look at this in a very systematic way and trust me everyone whether you are a five percent or you are the five percent of traders we all encounter losses and it's about how you recover those losses but if you're continuously respecting your risk management you're going to realize that it just takes one trade like this to actually recover all those losses and you really have to have that long-term mindset and really become a good loser like i always say really learn how to lose learn how to take hits and that's going to be very helpful for you in the long term all right so i really hope that you found something from this video if you have make sure you subscribe like the video comment in the comment section if you have anything the links are down in the description until next time goodbye